Total Warhammer 3 in part 14 of my Count Noctilus of Mortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, we're doing battle against a war host of Kalidor. We have engaged the smaller force first in order to kind of make things a bit easier on us. Looks like they are deploying the reinforcements behind our forces. So what we're going to do is charge all the big boys in, crush this main force, and allow the um, riflemen and all of our artillery to get set up over here. And then await the secondary forces to come on in. These are a slightly upgraded. They've got some silver in guard. They're not just rolling with Illyrian Reavers, they have some actual Silver Helms. Silver and Guard and Shadow Warriors are rolling with the main force of Kalidor there, which is going to be their main source of damage. Look at this battle going. We're going to immediately kick off the Enchanted Ballistics and charge every one of my big boys into combat. We grab two of these crabs, use them on the Reavers, and then we'll have Bootstrap charging on in. Like we're gonna get spells quickly move them up. I don't exactly know what's being cast. Oh, we dodged it just barely. Let's see if we can grab the entire force here and bring them all down. Bring the lore in to assist in beating the brakes off of theirs. And now the forces charge forth. The Reavers are already basically dead before we even make it. Bootstrap Bill slaughtering on through. We are going to waste none of our artillery here. We can beat them without it. We'll drop a Spirit Leech on this Eagle. Get it out of there faster. As our main line advances, let's go ahead and get the deck droppers with bombs. Got to keep them up as a force to screen the enemy. And then we'll have the main force here. Move on down, see if they can't Gotta sneak in. We'll have to kind of set up our line again. That's fine. Pull them in like that while everyone else beats the brakes off of these forces. Everyone work together. The Reavers are gone. We only have 30 seconds till the enemy arrives. We need to hurry up. Quickly defeat these forces and then we can rotate to uh, deal with the cavalry that'll be getting out ahead of the rest of that army there. The demon crabs rolling in. I don't really see a need for the sea shanty because we only have one use of it. Go ahead and save. Grab the artillery force here. Keep them from firing in. Keep moving back. Whee. Drag them back behind the line if we can help it. Having a hard time controlling the uh, map here. We'll get it figured. All right, once the lads are down and involved where they need to be. Deck guns. All right, that works for me. Let's keep all the big boys out front. Keep them protected. Noctilus is doing fine over there. The entire enemy army is going to be hidden until they get a bit closer. Let's bring the depth card over into the woods as well. All right, the majority of this army is shattered. We just need to get rid of these guys there and then their mage. We can use Noctilus. A bit of healing. Top off all the forces that are a bit of damage. They are all shattered. Let's bring a bootstrap build back. Noctilus can swat a lot over. The artillery moving. You guys back as well, because you're not really great against those eagles in a fight, so... Get them away from those great eagles. The spearmen are nearly gone. Bring the Colossus over. Those are silver in guard is why they remained as long as they did. That would make sense. Keep Noctilus out front there. And let's spread out the crabs. Gallows giant off to one side. McMaggot in and amongst. And then the Necrofex I'm going to bring back to the trees here. 
All right, that group of Silver and Guardians shattered. Beautiful. Now we're just going to murder this next eagle that's decided to waddle on in. It's already received quite the smacking. We need to bring the army over just a little bit since it looks like just the eagles have made it. Now the Silver Helms have broke the tree line there. Rotate a force over to deal with it. Here comes the next eagle. Good news they have one at a time Midas. It is deadly for the birds. Similar to the avian flu. Oh, is he in melee mode? That's my bad. Switch him off. You want to try to maul my crabs? We will uh, teach you the lesson you shall not soon forget. Go ahead and break those Silver Helms charge, please. Use that flamethrower if you can. Actually, just hang out. Go ahead and have you guys. Well, we'll keep you on fire, Will, for now. Perfect. Looks like the majority of their forces decided to turn back around. Let's bring the crabs back. Rotate ever so slightly there. Yeah, keep on them. Don't let them leave. Let's clump the crabs up a little bit more so we can actually get a heal on everyone. All right, looks like the archers are starting to fire in, so let's pull everyone back. And we'll drop the heal on that group, if we can. All of them. Now oh, we can't quite hit all of them. I will just get those two then. That's fine. Let's bring Bootstrap back as well. Bring the whole line back. One group of crabs off to this flank. One group of crabs in the middle. Group them up a little bit more than they currently are. Then rotate the entire artillery line. I'm not knocked. Let's continue pulling back. I've lost my voice. Give me one quick moment, lads. And we're back. Sorry for the interruption. I just feel like I can't be sounding like a desiccated corpse. Let's get this going. When you on back over, so we at least have someone defending the flanks there. We'll clump them up a little bit more than they are, and then we'll bring the Gallows Giant back as well. Flesh. You shall soon have plenty of flesh. By the bucket. Let's bring you over just a little bit more. Keep the deck droppers. Oh, I'd like the Death Guard to stay in the woods, but the deck droppers can kind of take up positions on either side here. That would be wonderful. Those eagles are not getting through the Promethean gunnery mob. Not on their life. We'll drop another heal here. Beautiful cannon shots going out. Let's drop the enchanted ballistics on you all, and then we'll scoot him back over into the artillery to start helping them out as well. Uh, we'll give them all targets as well. Uh, I want both of you blasting at the Illyrian Reavers to be good at dodging. Where's Bess? Oh, Bess. Bess, if you could blow up that group of Seaguard, that would make my day. Rotate ever so slightly there. They, have, they do outrange us, so we do want to take advantage of our deck guns. Getting some beautiful shots in. Charge of swords in, so we at least can get a couple shots in on our own. All right, we got some lads moving in to hurt them. Let's bring the Death Guard. Actually, Death Guard will not catch. Bring you guys back. All right, sit in the hate one. The hateful one. Oh, I did not mean to click in the sea shanty. That makes me all the sad. Getting to waste our beautiful shanty. Not my Extra powder for the best. Oh, 
Gotta wait just a little bit longer here before we can start disrupting their archers. Do another cannonball in through here. All of your extra abilities pop. That was an awesome attack animation. Alright, everyone's in range of the guns now. Let's send in the crabs and the noctilus. And the colossi. Just send in the beasts. That eagle tries to get close. We'll hit it with a spirit leech. You guys are a little bit deep. Let's pull them back. Getting coated with uh, arrows there, so let's toss an invocation of the hack. Keep them chugging along. And then Bass can fire on that group there. Shut their combat down, keep moving. Let the bombs fly over the top, send the crabs in. Several of my crabs are hurting, but we will get some health in soon for them. A normal invocation, keep them healed. And then we'll drop a bit of shades here on both of that group of archers. Stop them from firing, please. The deck card have already sliced through them, keep moving. Drop your bombs. Get the Gallows Giant in. We need his damage. My voice is going in, but we'll have to deal with it. No more interruptions. It's time for... Oh, that sucks. Well, let's prepare the second one, then. The old baba. Keep them moving. Get some more explosives in on this group of archers. They seem to be unaffected at the moment. We'll give everyone else a target as well. Gun mob, get out there and give someone the old wallop. The old one, too. Well, hang on now. Those war lions got in on my uh, Lady Bess. Let's call that now. Hit him with a Spirit Leech there. And then the combination of Shotgun and Spirit Leech should scare them off. Also check a Cackle Fruit on them so they have a hard time running away. And the victory. They flee for their lives. Many of them are uh, still fully intact. We'll make sure we drag as many of them to the depths as we can. A beautiful victory, even with Nurgle trying to sabotage us and still continuing to do so. We're going to assimilate those captives even when we only lost a very, very few. Muriel has fallen, and Michaela takes over. Let's move on Vol's Anvil, which is mostly completely depleted. We can just take that one for auto resolve. Vol's Anvil has crumbled, and we claim this for the undead. Of course, after we sack it. We need that cash. Give Noctilus the Skrilla. We can move on towards the thigh. I'm not going to. We'll go ahead and occupy Vol's Anvil. Giving us the 500 treasury and 100 infamy. Order McMaggot. I would probably want to just go for uh, Steel Pack. The skills for him are no longer super important. Luckily, we can still make our Morngol here even scarier in combat. Destroy them. Ronnie, we'll go ahead and give him the reload reduction to start. Death and destruction. We will repair the anvil, and then we need an iron mine later on. But for now, we can just go for the tree and noose to increase our overall growth here at the anvil. Exowattle has landed on the shores as well. And they've wiped out Skeggy. As Skeggy deserves. We shall not shed a tear for the weak Norskin. 
Haunted Blockhouse, probably a good idea. Fight them. The White Tower of Hoeth is still looking to not fight us on the field, so we'll just kind of hang out and wait. Continue to poison their water supply. Ignore those haunted hovels. Shrine of Loet can be upgraded, but it's too close to enemy territory. I'd probably rather hold off on that one. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get for Noctilus. We can get the bulk cargo hold and finally get access to a rotting Leviathan. That would be pretty awesome. As well as the composite hole giving us access to our Necrofex Colossi. Or do we want those Sylvanian battlements first? I kind of want the battlements. They look too awesome. And then we can grab for the final, probably the lookout seat so we can get up to the Death Shriek Aragysts for our big unit. I'm probably going to replace... What are we going to replace? We don't really need the gun mob all that much. We can probably replace most of them with these big scary crabs. And then I was going to get rid of both of these deck droppers for Death Street Terror Guys later on. I'm probably going to remove these depth guard, give them to someone else, and replace that with one of the other fleet captains. That way we can do the invocation of the heck on and keep our big tanky boys healed up while they're continuing to blast away at any kind of enemies we may have. I think that should go wonderfully. We're at 900 positive income, so we'll wait on any kind of recruitment options. Admiral of the fleet. I'm glad the Skaven did not choose to mess with her, so we can actually get out to see remnants of battle. Yeah, let's go search that. Sails up. Sails up. Ulrich von Hasselt is not no longer a threat. Clearly, two ships met in combat and brought each other low, their rival crews drowning in battle and hatred. Their loss could be your gain, as the ships lead on each other in unstable fashion. Time is short. Salvage must be shot quickly. I think we'll go for the sunken chest to perform better on campaign. Giving us less upkeep for 10 turns and less attrition from High Seas Reef, Maelstrom, and Storm. Sold. Now while she's out here, we can also go grab this one. Are there any that are closer to Lothurn? I don't think so. There's a shipwreck over by the Galleon's Graveyard. Graveyard has a lot of stuff bouncing around. And there's the exotic goods hauler. We probably should catch him before he gets to his destination. Three sheets to the wind, blocking a course. We will wait just a bit before adding her back to our main army. We need we really need to kill this exotic goods hauler. And force him to work over his goods. Several turns for upgrades there. Yeah, we'll go over here to Shrine of Loak and hit it with a upgrade in four turns. The shanty hovels are everywhere. Yeah, he's good to go for now. If they move out to fight him on the field or if this army comes over to attack him, I think we will obliterate them. Speak oh the devil. They moved on over to attack. If we give this one to auto resolve, we would lose a good deal of our forces. The main threats are going to be that Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower as well as these War Lions of Trace. Obviously, archers are scary, but we disrupt them and they stop firing, so let's get to it. And we are bringing all of the hate. Okay, so what we need to do. We don't have a lot of line of sight, so we probably need to kind of corner up, let them come to us. Gun mob set them up. We will have our artillery kind of chilling in behind them. Where's the higher elevation? Do we even have any? That's a bit unfortunate. I guess the only good news is the cannons can kind of fire uphill at them. Mortars off here. And then our Gunnery White. Although since he doesn't have the ability, I'll kind of put him up in the gun line with everyone else. Our two Withers up front. And then the Zombie Pirates forming their little columns. Just to be their distraction. 
Once they start firing, I can bring the handguns up and bring devastation. Working on it, buddy. At your service. Blood to spell. All right, and I want the doggos hiding in the woods. That's kind of close to the line, but still behind. We're going to use them to shut down all of their archers, and then we'll have... Where's the black spot at? These guys are actually anti-large, so we'll kind of keep them off to this side, and then the pull arms over here. Works for me. Group and guard. And then we'll do a unit of pirate deckhand off either side. And we'll kind of just make them all one group. The big bloater. Far enough away that if he explodes, it doesn't hurt us. And then the Salt Lord Scuttlers. Is this battle going? I also think we want to pull back just a little bit. They attacked us, so they, the onus to attack is on them. Can't quite pull back to all of those beautiful uh, hills over there, but we can kind of at least pull to the side. Looks like they're gonna probably wait for their reinforcements to come in. Our crab's a bit slow, so we're gonna probably keep it over here as well. I will cut to when they arrive and the army starts approaching. And in saunter the high elven reinforcements. Eager to show off their prowess in battle. Or so they believe. They're lions with their little uh, sweaters. Yeah, you've got to come over here to us. You and your cherry lime made brethren. Men and women of Avalorn and kitty cats as well. The dog well off the beaten path because it looks like they're probably going to try to spread out. They do have numbers, so they're going to want to use them. They do have the range advantage pretty severely, so we can pull our troops back just a little bit further. They're not getting maximum... maximum assistance from that high ground. Big boom boom, stay far enough back, you're not killing our own dudes. Send the bats off this way. And in they should waddle. We who are about to die salute you. Deck hands. Y'all on your way yet? They've got some artillery of their own. So we definitely want to try to be moving around to eliminate that. As long as we stay in the trees, they shouldn't find our dogs. How much range is the eagle claw rolling with? 480, or 380 rather. So it is less than our cannons, but the range advantage from being up on top of the hill may equate that. Inferior foes, huh? Guess you're about to find that one out. Me thinks these lads are using their AI brain to know that there's doggos approaching through the woods. Move on over, doggy. That's a that's only a little bit suspicious. Where y'all going, brothers? We know you have dogs somewhere. We just can't tell you that we know you have dogs somewhere. Oh, they're not hiding. That's the problem. Well, I guess in that case, just cause some problems. You guys should be fast enough. They can't quite get in range. They march forward. The enemies of order must be destroyed. Enemies of order Take must be body. destroyed. Do a little bit of a wiggle so we're not getting hit. Bomb moving. 
The arrows will find their mark eventually, but if we kind of wiggle the doggos around, we should have a hard time hitting anyone. Yep, we are well out of their range. Get up there and slaughter those bolt throwers. You high elven fools. See, God alone won't save you. Prepare for the fight, they say. How about prepare to be surrounded and annihilated? And they're gone. Moving on. We're gonna let those sea guard hang out back there and wonder how they failed their only task. All right, let's get our cannons actually firing on good targets here. Charge you directly in. Charge you directly in. Those bombs flying. Bellbats, go shut down someone on those back lines. I take a bit of damage coming on in. The sea shanty as well. Get you back. Sing louder, lads. The elven dogs can't hear ya. Get up there and help. Uh, our mages will do an overcast spirit leech on her. The absolute slaughter. Summon in a unit of crabs there to shut down those archers. What's wrong, elves? Drop a fog of the damned on everyone around here, too. Just running through pure carnage. Do a soul blight on. It's the same group. They're having the absolute worst day. Pull these doggos out. Oh, too late. Got hit with some metal. Chase their knights off the field. Take a little bit of damage and we'll bring these guns up. Get them annihilating. Salt Lord Scuttlers as well. Bring them on over. Blow up those spearmen. Weaken that armor fully. Bombs away. Any day now. Oh, come on, lads. You're embarrassing me in front of my wizard friends. Yeah, we pretty well crushed them. We may lose a couple of deckhands. If we get them back, they may survive. Do a spirit leech on her. No reason to overcast it. And then, last but not least, here, let's see if we can get these doggos away. My bats back. Facing after that group of archers. And not getting slaughtered by the likes of that Lothar and Seaguard. Keep the bloaty boy back. Finger on the trigger. Finger on the trigger. Bring them through. Overboard, Overboard indeed. I'll Send Vivian up. Soon. Fight them. Not sure why the Scuttlers are having a hard time with that one, but we're going to move them through so they don't get killed. Do a Spirit Leech on you guys. Master of the Great Ship! Fleet Captain! One more group of Crabos. Ooh, and that's the victory. Their arrogance continues to get many, many elves killed. Oh, the bombs made it, finally. Flashbang through the door. Another force of Avalorn destroyed, and the White Tower of Hoeth falls under undead control. Slavery isn't for us. So you say. Ally begins outpost construction. Listen, Slanesh. We are not actually allies. Writing Promethean for Vivian King, making her even stronger. And Orion's gonna be bullying people. Good news is he is nowhere near us. 
I like time, high tide. Need to razor sack the Eagle Gate. That and the Griffin Gate. We're working on it. Alright, Noctilus. Your job is to come up here and claim Taurus of Thigh. Finishing off this province as well. Thank you, please. That belongs to us. Sack the settlement first. Behold Banner of Militia. Never give the zombies explosives, they'll blow the whole ship apart. You, be the loot, everything. So is that what happens when you have the zombie bombers? We could probably honestly move up and claim, or at least sack Avathir as well, getting 5,000 additional. How much movement we have? We have a ton. That's gonna be a bully. They're like, oh no, we remember you from earlier on. Yes, it's quite unfortunate, isn't it? I think we give the Colossus more ammunition and less reload. Oh, jeez. I'll talk about wanting to get rid of the Death Guard. This is not how I wanted to do it. On a battle, they would have won by themselves, probably. Well, that's abusive. And we don't even get to come back and claim Taurus of Thigh. This clicks all over the place. We'll scream, swing back over. We'll see about recruiting up some more undead minions. Sadly, we lost those at Death Guard, which is gross. Yeah, we'll claim Taurus of Thigh, and then we will take that turn to go ahead and grab in the Rotting Leviathan in place for the Death Guard. Which, I mean, to be fair, they hadn't been doing as much damage as I would have wanted them to be. So having another big beater that can soak up some arrows while our riflemen fire in on pools sounds good to me. Let's grab Bill, we'll give him that devastating charge. Finishing off his combat potential. Fort Elastor, I'm not going to worry about. This is in enemy territory. Fort Elir is about to be upgraded, but it's also about to be assaulted. We could save the growth at Lothurn. I am kind of keen to do that. Esmeralda, you have moved your last. We can switch over to Hector, though. He just won his battle. And Hector can grab go on account. Making that raise dead cost cost a little bit less. Destroy them. Vivian can be a briber or have some deception going on. We'll go for that in a little bit here. Let's prioritize Kraken's pull. Wipe them out. And for you, yeah, I don't really care about Pyromaniac just yet. We'll go for Powder Monkey. Max out Powder Monkey, max out Black Powder, and then go for the Shotgun. Have at them! Oh, she's actually going to engage as well. We're probably, we would probably lose some then, wouldn't we? The bloated corpse. I mean, we wouldn't. Let's do it. All right, you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Oh, hang on now. That's where the rest of the army could work. You get out of that siege equipment. Yeah, we'll just bully the high elves as they come in. Make sure we're not too close to them. But also far enough away that they can't, or like too close enough that they can't retreat. And then we may leave this weaker group of scurvy dogs just to defend in case. But they really shouldn't need much more than that. Should be more than enough to deal with what's coming through there. Their lord is the scariest thing. And Hector will deal with this himself. The other doggos coming through the woods. Bats ready to cause destruction. Got you guys back, because there's no reason to take all that free damage. Artillery here, we're going to use you to beat down the walls. Salt Lord Scuttlers, you're going to kind of stay back as well. Another good target to uh, blast apart the dudes on the wall. Get this going. Alright, you two go hit the gates. 
you go take the walls there, you go take them over there, and then you kind of go straight down the middle. Fly the bats in. Doggos start chewing. We'll bring the scuttlers up here in a moment. Blast apart the guys on the wall. Pull the bloated corpse back. And then we'll yeah, pull the gun mob up to just start yes, shooting pistols at the dudes on the wall. And he's taking some damage, isn't he? Probably shouldn't overcast then. We'll cast that on those spearmen. Fleet Captain. Vivian, we can go ahead and we can make them scared to continue fighting. Oh, we can just drop some crabs. Can't do them over the wall. That's cheating. Fair enough. I'm here. You all get on through. 58 seconds till the shooting gallery can commence. And these two idiots are running into each other. That battlefield co battlefield coordination. All right, bats, go murder some dudes on the wall. We'll have the uh, cannons focus down that one group of Lothar and Seaguard. Having a hard time getting through those walls on their giant crabs. Kind of surprising. Uh, use the cannons to knock down the gatehouse then. Maybe they're able, they're not able to do it at the same time. No matter, the bats are mauling the archers on the wall. 11 more seconds. We'll kick in the sea shanty once that, once they show up. Uh, both the bats. Pull away just a little bit there. Nearly through the gatehouse now. And the enemies have arrived. All hail the mighty. It rises from the deep. Throw a bomb at their lord. Like, how could it be so awful? Who knows, dude? It made someone mad. All right, both of these gunners here. Focus fire down those archers. Ooh, scoot away from that. Of course, they're going to have to charge into those lions, which is not great. Right, I'll deal with her first, then you can turn around and shoot the lions. Over at the main siege. We're through the gates. That should be the game. Butamus. The White Tower of Hoeth now officially falls. She got sniped right in the forehead. See you later. And then the lions have lost in a straight up fight with doggos. They should be ashamed. More land for the Dreadfleet. We will back the, to uh, the White Tower there. Let's go collect all of the money. And then immediately turn back around and claim. You won't get a moment's peace. Probably not. We have Don't plenty of bullets. That's incredibly dark. Let's go ahead and throw into the plunder pile and upgrade over here at Fort Elastor since we have now successfully cut off our enemies from actually being able to attack it. They can of course sail on over, but we'll see if they actually choose to do that. Noctilus here. We will upgrade your topsail to being a moon raker and then get you your composite hull. We'll just worry about upgrading Knock Daddy to start and then we can get these lookout sails. So we can get those bats if we ever need them. I don't think he's going to need them. He has much scarier units than bats for sure. Orders. Barbosa. We have used all of our money. I think the best thing to go for with you is that basic crew replenishment. And then we could grab the Bombards next. So he has access to the army abilities that blast enemies from orbit or from the, the port, whichever one. Very many dead grounds opening up too, which is awesome. Swing back over to Lydia Esmeralda. Well, in the episode there probably. I command for you. We 
can increase his bonus view large even higher. Probably just make him a smuggler as well, so he has the full movement range he has access. He should be able to. Go for combing and preservative, make him a little bit cheaper. Help our overall income. And I think it's probably time to get rid of your bloated corpse. See if we can't raise something better. Or for now, we'll just recruit in another group of scurvy dogs. That mobility is working out for us really nicely with his army. Especially with the additional weapon strength and resistance. Lady Esmeralda. Looks like they're hiding. It is your decision. It is. Go over here to the shipwreck first. See what you can find. Envoy of trading ships carrying myriad precious goods across a nearby sea raid or sea trade route have been brought low by the angry sea god, Stromfels, much to the chag uh, chagrin of wealthy merchants and investors back at their home ports. Knowing that such a wreckage could be a highly profitable salvage opportunity, you sail towards the area, but unsurprisingly, others have also caught wind of it. You could continue your approach, but this might end in confrontation at sea. You bet your britches it will. Oh, Billy's sea legs. You were not prepared. It's time to tame the cattle. Cattle, huh? That's pretty disrespectful. Such vast wealth does not go missing out of the open ocean without pirates catching wind of it. Before long, a, a galleon helmed by particularly belligerent vampire admiral appeared in a cloud of broadside guns and hissing black powder weapons blocking your passage. And then we blew them up. And gained 8,000 gold. Here is when we be our next battle. I will not obey. That's fine by me, brother. Makes it much funner when you don't. That is a battle we will get to in the next one, though. For now, I am out of time. I have been at Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub throne, and I'll see you on the next one.